This is getting wild. The National Guard is going to be here now for the solar eclipse. This article today was released in an Oklahoma newspaper saying that they will have guardsmen present in McCurtain County for the solar eclipse. But things get much weirder. The 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear unit will be housed in Broken Bow, in addition to 110 to 150 Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers. They're also urging residents to stock up with one to two weeks of food in advance of the event and to have full fuel tanks. They're also saying that it's likely that communication facilities could be overloaded, possibly making it difficult to make cell phone calls. Similar warnings are going out in different states, including Noblesville Fire Department in Texas. And apparently schools are canceled this day and people are going on Twitter writing statements like this. Something strange is definitely happening. My kids in three different schools all got notices that school will be closed that day. What do you know about this solar eclipse? As always, let me know what you think. Good song for most all praises on our glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Okakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be, he exists. The existing one, Hashem is in the name. Yahweh is only begotten the Savior Son, who the world is going to cause Lord and Jesus Christ. These are the powers that we serve. These are the powers that we come in the name of. All right, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honor, our apostles and elders have great millstone and citations to the men and brethren in this work in truth and in sincerity across the four corners and the planet earth. The, the elect, the carry of the chosen. All right, Matthew 24 and 29 immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the star shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall appear the sun the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with great power and great glory right so this lesson this morning basically we're going to be touching on our um, so like uh, we're going to be touching on um, on this eclipse right that's what's happening on um, April 8th you know uh, key point because we know that the eclipse part right the part of the eclipse is going to be passing through the center of America of North America aka Babylon aka Assyria aka Saddam and Egypt aka Nineveh was one of the names it was um, Babylon the Great the whore, um that caused it all nations to drink of the wine of her fornication right she's also known as um, Nineveh in the scriptures right and this is what it, this is um this is a Syrian eclipse right in um, Wikipedia it says um, I want to show to the point, it says the biblical scholar Donald Wiseman had speculated that an eclipse took place around when Jonah arrived in Nineveh and urged the people to repent. Otherwise, the city would be destroyed. This would explain the dramatic repentance of the people of Nineveh as described in the book of Jonah. So, you know, it just draw me to the, um, to the movie um, Apocalypto. When they saw the eclipse, you know, it, it, it the, 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 the high priest or whoever it is he stopped the executions but behind the scenes they kill the men but for the public they stopped the executions on the top of the pyramid but they were chopping off the heads and the heads was rolling down all right it says this would explain the dramatic repentance of the people in Nineveh as described in the book of Jonah in cultures including Assyria viewed the eclipses and what omens of if I viewed eclipses as omens of in imminent destruction and the empire was in chaos at this time struggling with revolts famine and two separate outbreaks of plague right which familiar with the destruction of Egypt right this eclipse is also mentioned in the um, by the prophet Amos who Amos was also preaching during the region of Jeroboam sorry during the reign of Jer Jeroboam or Jeroboam the second and refers to the eclipse of in Amos 5 and 8 which we will get real quick added added in um the this is the GNT 
It says, Amos um, 5 and 8, The Lord made the stars. Pleiades, right? Pleiades is um, a constellation of stars. It's supposed to be seven stars, right? It's mentioned in Job 9 9, right? And Orion, right? That's the same, the same seven stars that they see in the Siburu logo, right? He turns darkness into day, right? He turns what? Darkness into daylight and the day into night. He turns darkness into daylight, right? So the Lord lights up the sky, right? And he turns, well, uh, hey, for example, um, for example, darkness into daylight. You can think about um, the, the, the chariot in the time of um, uh, Israel e exiting Egypt, right? When, it, when Israel exited Egypt, the chariot was a pillar of fire in the night and a cloud by day, right? So it was light so that the Israelites could see it their way, right? And it was darkness in the back so that the Egyptians could not see their way, right? It says he turns darkness into daylight and day into night. He calls for waters, for the waters of the sea, and pours them out on the earth. His name is Yahweh. It says he brings destruction on the mighty and their strongholds, right? So this is why that video proceeded, right? Because the Lord, right, he brings destruction upon strong on them, but on the mighty and their strongholds, right? Let me see, let me see, yeah, let me see if I can get it here. Amos 31. I mean, Amos, I, Isaiah 31. I'll start at verse 1. God will protect Jerusalem is the title. It says, Those who go to Egypt for help are doomed. This is in the GNT, by the way. They are relying on Egypt's vast military strength. Right? So that what that is mighty. That is might. Military the military shows might and strength. You know, you had the different kingdoms, Babylon. It was an opulent kingdom, ancient Babylon. What were the hanging gardens and, and, and gold? It was the head the head of gold, right? Then you had the um, the Medes and the Persians, they were more they were militarily strong right it says those who go to egypt for help are doomed they are they are relying on egypt's vast military strength horses and chariots and soldiers but they do not rely on the lord the holy one the holy god of israel or ask him for help he knows what he is doing he sends disaster he carries out his threats to punish evil people and those who protect them it says the Egyptians are not gods, they are only human, their horses are not supernatural. When the Lord acts, the strong nation will crumble and the weak nation will it will uh, sorry and the weak nation it helped will fall. Both of them will be destroyed. Alright? So you know this is it, the Lord uh, this you know the National Guard coming out, you know, looking for that eclipse. Um, on 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 um on that eclipse day, um, <laughs> the never eclipse twenty twenty four. Yeah, they coming out. It's because Esau actually knows, and they've been listening, right? They've been listening to the prophets, and they understand um history, right? That the Lord here. And the Lord is here, right? And the Lord is about to take his kingdom. Get ready for the solar eclipse on the 8th of April. Eclipse parts, best viewing locations, and essential gear with Nisi solar filters. Right, let's, let's see if it have a... Um, if there is... I guess... See the part of the eclipse. Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, Little Rock, Indianapolis, Ohio, Cleveland, 
or is the city names the names of the cities that are passing through let's see if I get it here man. let's see Not getting, not getting the exact names. Trying to get the names, the biblical names, you know, but due for lack of time, I can't accomplish uh, a, a deeper search, all right? But you know, you get the point. These are the signs of the times, they, they, they would have the signs in the sun and the moon, all right? And men's heart are going to fail when they see the son of man coming through the sky. And uh, hey, as this one is saying during the Passover, <laughs> will rapture happen during the Passover, all right? April 2024. I don't know who's who's this is maybe this might be alright. Enough of that, you know. This um yeah it's gonna be in the um it's just after um our Passover. This eclipse will take take place just after our Passover. Alright? So with that, I prayed was edifying, give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Hashem? I wish I prayed was edifying, if not um, informative. Shalom to the elect.